So, hi everyone again. I'm Greg from GB Productions and Four Wheel Motion as well. Today we're back on the silver truck again, finally. Um, just because of the shortened day today, we're just going to try and tackle maybe a fuel lift pump on this as well as getting a proper OEM fuel filter housing on it. Um, why the previous owners decided to take all that off, I don't know. But uh, right now we're just running a little electric pump to feed the injection pump, which isn't doing a very good job um, and doesn't hold the prime either. So trying to get to, well, there is a lift pump on there. Trying to get to the, the lift pumps on these things is just horrible. Is the, it's supposed to be a thumb primer to prime fuel from the tank to the lift pump at least. I find they don't usually work even on, on the brand new pump I put on the other truck, but. So there is a lift pump on here, but if I remember correctly from when I was trying to get it going way back, it doesn't work. It wasn't pumping anything. Now, whether that's because it's clogged full of vegetable oil, who knows, but I have the pump I took off of the blue truck way back when I thought it was dead, but it was actually just the fuel was frozen. So I think what we're gonna try and do is put this pump on this truck and see if it'll pump some fuel, we'll just leave the electric system hooked up so we can run the truck and then probably hook up um, some kind of a, a fuel can to the mechanical pump and just see if it pumps anything. As well as, again, I can't see anything because the, the uh, engine bay is so filled with all kinds of stuff that we may or may not need. Somewhere above the left pump is supposed to be a fuel filter housing. And I'm pretty sure it is not there. So, provided that this engine is the same as the other engine, which it should be, this is a 95 and the other one is a 94. So, as long as they didn't make any drastic changes, the fil fuel filter housing from the spare engine that I bought should fit on this truck, provided we can actually see where it's supposed to go. I think we might end up taking, not that I want to touch the intake again. Yeah, off. I really didn't want to touch it again because it's got a, a messed up gasket as it is. It needs a new gasket, but uh, I haven't been able to get those ordered yet. But we might have to take that off and maybe try and take the top of the intercooler pipe off to try and get down. Because I don't think you can really get to it from the bottom. I had to do the lift pump on the other one from here. And it's really difficult to access it, especially with all this uh, anti-lock modular blocks in the way so and don't forget his truck is lifted which makes it even worse to get to well it's nice because you can sit under the truck but but yeah to try <clears> and <throat> reach up here yeah to try and reach anything from the top is is not fun no um so yeah and this truck doesn't have the proper fuel shut off solenoid either it's got that cable that you have to pull under the dash, and so this bracket here. Mm, let me see, again, zoomed way out, but the bracket there with the spring on it, that's where the solenoid's supposed to be mounted. And so they just have a return spring on it and you pull a cable to um, kill the engine and then shove the cable back in. It looks like the fuel line going into the injection pump is leaking a bit too, so that could be part of our starting problems as well. But. Without further ado, we're going to somehow dig into changing this lift pump here. Okay, what else is holding it now? Should you hold it? nuts from the bottom too. Uh, okay, so let me just squeeze somehow. Well, um, I 
probably be better to just dismount the module from the battery box instead of trying to disconnect all the cables. Do you need 10? Um, yeah, if I'm gonna take it off, grab the quarter inch drive ratchet, the smallest one, and then, yeah, the 10 millimeter you got there should, should do the... So yeah, we need to find that other fastener though here shortly. These can go back into here actually. That way they don't get lost. And that one was the first one I did. So where is the fastener? There it is. Just thread that one into the third hole. So that's down out of the way now at least. So I guess might as well do the intake manifold next. I was really hoping we didn't have to disturb it, but it's going to make life a lot easier. Just so the clamp's loose and then the pipe will slide out of it. So can you see the one down lower there that we have to do? Yeah, and it's a nice rusted mess. Is it? Uh, let's try to show the camera first what we're looking at. For sure. Trying to be helpful for you guys. So yeah, that's the other one down there. Nice and rusty, and I have no idea I'm gonna get a tool on that, but we'll see. Well, and if we didn't have the intercooler in the way on the front of the truck, we could put an extension in from there, but I don't see that. You couldn't even universal this one. I don't see that working very well. Maybe if I put the bit in first and then. Just don't drop it. It might go at the bottom, it might not. Well, from there, it'll just probably sit on the... It's definitely gotta be better now with the battery box out of there, though. It's this, it's Compared not that, it. it's this reservoir, that's the problem. Uh, well, we can take that off, too, other than dealing with... I got the, it in. Dealing with the, um, uh, leaking out. Oh, yes, nice and rusty. more I guess because it should be back down on the rubber still try now why the clamp is moving up clamp should stay down in position the clamp is quite loose I don't know <sighs> yeah but it's still not staying where it's supposed to be might have to take this freaking fuel line off. That's good now, I think. because the, just hold that up there for a second. The return line is supposed to be metal all the way back to the tank. Or maybe it's supposed to be plastic. So I think what it was supposed to be was supposed to be a plastic um, like crimp fitting. Stay there. From heat from the metal to the plastic, it's not supposed to be rubber really, but I'll just put this back on here for now. Okay. So that's that out of the way finally. I should probably go and get something to plug the intake as it is. There's a nice pile of uh, aluminum corrosion from undoing the bolt. Let's give you a look on that. Eventually we'll start shooting multiple cameras set up again. Right down in there. So I'll probably do what I did when I first put it together because the intake was left open with tree debris in it. Probably just get a shot back going in it. Are we gonna take this off still or? Yeah, let's get that out of the way because we gotta be able to get underneath the
Yeah, yeah that's the yeah, pipes look brand new on the on the end of it. Never been apart before. Paint starting to peel a little bit on that part, but uh, this is like brand new. It's like right out of the factory. Yeah. I'm sure it's never ever been touched before. The inside of it's nice and clean too. Yes, the inside of the inner cooler should not be as we lose the vent. Should not be uh, full of oil like a lot of them are. Okay, so first thing is the Oh my goodness. That's not supposed to be like a rock. So I need a socket for the battery cable, which is probably like 17 mil. I'm thinking, I'm hoping this is the right size. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think. I ought to try and actually, there we go. Um, this freaking PCV pipe is right in the way. I'm gonna try and, the freaking post terminal is turning for the enable wire on the starter, so that could be part of the starting issues. No, oh, don't do that. Come on, there we go. Jeez. Come on, something's biting me. Surprised the transmission lines are in such good shape, but it's because they're soaked in oil. I had to do transmission lines on the first gen. Okay, get that off of there. Okay, now to see if I can actually get the uh, starter bolts undone. Of course it's 10 mil, not 3 eighths. Oh, well, that's a decent fit. I, don't, I think I must have done these with a wrench when I was trying to fix mine. Yeah, I grabbed the 10 millimeter wrench because I can't even get a socket on it straight, really. actually might be better. No, well, let's find it. It's gotta go up. Yeah, there's a freaking brake line in the way, of course. The bolt's loose, good. Oh, God. Uh, ah. Definitely gotta be the slowest way to do this. I suggest that you would have been done with it. <laughs> if you can get anything on it, that's the problem. Well, and I guess now that it's loose, actually. You said you can see the, the yeah. bolt from there? Oh, good. What is in the way? There's a, I don't know what it is. There we go. Gotta 
be getting close. Oh yeah, it's much faster. And, uh, oh, that's freaking heavy. Oh, jeez. A near miss. A near miss on the camera, yeah. Oh, wow, that's, that's heavy. That is disgusting. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. What? Whatever that chunk of crap was that fell out of the... Hey, now I can see the... I can see the lift pump. The camera's covered in crap. I'll cut the camera. I'm sure the battery's almost dead. Here. Over here. Other way. Over here. Over, Over here. Over here. Oh. <laughs> matter don't you know what here is no okay okay so I'm gonna try and do this with a wrench because I don't think I can get sockets on it that's very sloppy a yeah, 3 8 wrench there instead of 10 mil you need Of course it doesn't fit. So guess we'll try this. Wish <coughs> I didn't have dirt in my eyes. Freaking eye. Should be oh. wearing safety glasses. Nah, it doesn't matter. I wear safety glasses, the stuff just goes around the glasses and into my eye. <laughs> safety goggles then? Yeah, I've got goggles, but they fog up is the problem. Unless there's air enough air moving. turning in an eighth of a turn, but I only get like a 32nd of a turn because it bounces back because of the stupid sealant. Morons. What a stupid design. Uh, it looks like there's like a wire or something that goes on there. Uh, it's just the sealant. Oh. What a freaking mess. Alright, so this should be able to just come as a bumpier pristine camera angle. I could have got that on there. Wait, I better get a different camera on. got to be the in and that's got to be the out so if we wanted to do a little test we'll be um, need some kind of fuel could be gasoline too I guess and Okay, so we can do that to test. And uh, that should also do the same thing. So let's cut and we'll get some fuel of some kind and then try to do a little test on that one and then also test the, new, the other one and see if it's any different. 
All right, so now we're gonna set up here to try and test this pump that was on it. I'm sure when I was trying to get the truck going initially, it wouldn't do anything, except maybe dribble a little bit. Oh yeah, Ooh, that's like black. It's not backwashing, too bad. Oh, it's cleaning up a bit now. So you are just testing out gasoline instead of diesel. Mm. really wrong with that. I mean, there's no way to know if the pressure is good enough or not, but. Oh. Just lost it already, you notice? Is it? Does the line come out of the gas? Or? No. Now it won't do anything. So either gasoline destroys it, which I doubt, or she's done. I don't understand how it could be working there and then stop working though. So this pump is no good. It would seem that way anyway. one reason or another. Even though it started working and then somehow stopped working. Something must have got caught in it maybe mm -hmm. clean fuel going in so it definitely wasn't the fuel supply all right so i don't know if i can get this freaking thing off here oh there we go so we're gonna have to steal the fittings from that though for the other one i'm pretty sure there was nothing wrong with this pump when i took it off of mine if this one's no good, then we gotta go get a pump, I guess, although it's Sunday, so we won't be able to. Okay. So for the viewers at home, if you have a vice, use the vice. Use the vice. Use the vice. Don't sacrifice your front bumper. <laughs> if it's something you don't care about, oh. Nice. If it's something you don't care about, that's just, that is lovely. Mm. Probably yeah. going to have to go clean this out before we use it on the other pump. But let's get the other thing out of it first. Well, we're probably going to go uh, I guess that. we don't need, we don't need that one to test this one. We only need this if we're going to use this pump. Well, I guess we got to go clean that then. Yeah, so we're going to go clean that and then we'll be back. So that looks a lot better now. It's still not perfect, but it's not got any, um, loose slime in it at least. And then we're just gonna use a bit of Teflon, which is not meant for automotive use, but for our purposes, it'll work. So I'll put that into, that pump is a lot cleaner than this one. Put that in here, maybe, there we go. So how are you going to torque that? Just like this. It's pipe thread, so it really doesn't need to be very tight, and it's got Teflon on it, so there shouldn't be any leaking happening. So now we will try some fuel. Ooh, good if I can tell. Hold the pump still. this pump is fine but yeah I don't think there's any issue with that so I'm sure what happened 
way back when I thought the pump was done on the blue truck was the fuel was just frozen, which was the problem I was dealing with for a while anyways. That's interesting. Turn it up, it doesn't drain. Turn it on an angle and it drains. Okay. So, we got to transfer over that as well. Of course, it'd be better to have a barb, but I don't think I have anything here that's the right uh, thread for that with the right size barb. So, I just put on there what they have, just there can't be any leakage or our primary fuel pressure is not going to be correct. Uh, okay, so... Oh, yes, that fresh smell of gasoline. <laughs> All right, so we need a, I think we need a 9 16 wrench. Right there, yeah. I wish they just use metric. All right, sir. <laughs> You're gonna have to put camera, a little more. Camera isn't gonna. You're gonna have to put a little more force on it than that. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's not what was supposed to undo. I guess I could have used a wrench to hold that part from undoing, and then I can push against myself. And that is this size, I believe. Yeah. Are we in camera range? We are. Oh my goodness. Let's go a little lower. The wrench is turning on the... Come on. <laughs> I need a vice. <laughs> Come on, you can hold it. One, two, three. There you go. <laughs> That's how it's done. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Right. I just twisted my wrist off, but here we go. How it's done is leverage. We got another one here. Oh, good. Another thing we got to go and clean it. Oh, back to the air. It's so nice if we had the air here. Someday. We'll be back in a bit.